Welcome to Count 299. I'm Sean Bradley. I'm Koji. We're into a brand new year for pro wrestling and we're off to an incredible start with Wrestle Kingdom and also Tokyo Joshi Pro for their Iten Yon events. Mm. So we had about nine, ten hours for the whole day of pro wrestling, <laughs> uh, which is pretty intense. And I know there are people on Twitter who stayed up for the, the whole night from around the world to watch it. We had people coming from overseas, coming to Japan to watch both events as well, which was amazing. And some of those people even came to the bar, right? So we might as well kick off with talking about Wrestle Kingdom and we will see what the Japanese fans' reactions were to each event. Some people aren't happy with the fact that Okada won. They were expecting Naito. I'm a, I'm a Naito fan myself, so I wanted Naito to win. But I wasn't, I wasn't angry that Okada won. I can kind of understand the booking decision. But we're going to ask Koji for his uh, top three matches from Wrestle Kingdom. And I think some of you might be surprised. So, Koji, what was your number three ranked match for Wrestle Kingdom? Hi, best of all, number three was Okada vs. Naito. はい。一試合ですよ、もちろん。はい、素晴らしい試合ですけども、え、まあ、岡田対内藤っていうのはもう過去何回も試合をしてきてて、お客様の期待値が高いんですよね。うん。うん。ある程度のレベルの試合はも
So a lot of this match was kind of developed really organically, I think, which is why it was so uh, popular with Western fans and Japanese fans too. So Koji, any any other kind of facts from Wrestle Kingdom? Mm. え、今回のレスルキングダムは、ま、3万5000人ぐらいかな、お客さん入りました。え、去年よりも少し増えましたね。え、外国人のファンの方も思います。ま、今年はジェリコ選手もね、参戦もありましたので、より来年も楽しみかなと思います。ま、大会時間がま、大事の試合から合わせて丸9時間ぐらいあったので、ま、少し長いかなっていう印象はあるんですけど、ま
Ah, oh, well, yeah. mm. So, great events which I recommend that you check out. First month of DDT Universe is free. After that one month trial period, then you'll get charged. Just a, a word of warning, if you do subscribe to DDT uh, Pro, make sure you subscribe at the very start of the month. It works with a Japanese style billing system where it automatically just bills you on the last day of the month. So if you sign up two days before the end of the month, you're going to end up paying twice the amount for two or three days. So just be careful when you sign up. Let's go on to the, the next part of the show, which is the Wrestler of the Month. Okay, so Koji, hi. who is your Wrestler of the Month? Hi, this uh, Wrestler of the Month is Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is a great player in Japan. He's a great player in Japan. He's a great player in Japan. 実際出てきた時も誰っていうところからスタートしてることも実際多くて<笑>あの青なんていうか登場の VTR であったりとか福岡でサプライズの登場があったり、えー、上位式があったりするんですけどそこでのまずアクションが素晴らしいです、うん、これはあの日本でももちろんあの記者会見あのいわゆる上位式とかタイトルマッチに向けて選手同士が、えー、向かい合うことがあるんですけどでそんな面白くないんですよ。でもやっぱりそこがやっぱり WWE のトップ選手のジェリコ選手はやっぱ見せ方が違うな単純にやっぱり素晴らしいなと思って見ててかつ試合あと試合に関してもロールボジェリコを、えーまあ、すごく使ってたんですけど、うん、いかにこれをこの技がフィニッシャーですよっていうのをあのすごく、まあ、分かりやすくというかうまいなと思いましたよねでずっとそれを使うことによってこの技がすごく、まあ、日本でいうとすり込みってなるんですけどねあの知らない人にこの技がっていうのはずっと使っていくことで、うん、あのファンの方がああこれがフィニッシャーなんだなっていうのを覚えていくんですけど、うん、それがすごくあのうまかったですよね。コーードブレーカーもう一つジェリ選手した技あるんですけどこれが30分超えてからしか出さなかったんですよね、うん、だからやっぱり技のチョイスの仕方がものすごくうまくてかつやっぱりそこまで危険ではないジェリコ選手のレスリングはね今やっぱりちょっと日本のプロレスが少し危険になってきてるのでジェリコ選手の試合はいい意味で日本の選手も参考にできるんじゃないかなと思いますしまあ、日本で一番タイプ近いのは、近いのは、棚橋選手かなと思いました。うんうん、なので、棚橋選手とジェリコ選手の試合見てみたいですね。という形が一番タイプが近いかなと思いましたし、試合まで少し含めると、えー、日本の選手はいろいろと勉強になることが多いんじゃないかなというぐらい、うん、あのプロフェッショナルでした。Yeah, yeah. はい yeah, I think... With, with Jericho being able to adapt and change his style as well, it's going to be interesting to see how long he stays in New Japan. Because after his match with Kenny, he did the press interview and he said, Right, I'm leaving Japan. Yeah, bye bye. And then, like, gave him the finger and, and, and stormed out. And everyone thought, Oh, okay, well, he's gone back to America. That's it. And then the next night,、yeah. Naito kind of came out, Tranquilo, a s e n d a y o and all this kind of thing. And then, Out of nowhere, Jericho comes out and everyone's like, What? Jericho? He's still in Japan? Like, what? They had a bit of a scuffle. Naito, in his usual relaxed self, you know, went to throw the chair and then just kind of sat down in his tranquilo style. So now I guess we're going to see Jericho versus Naito. So now I think everyone is starting to imagine all these different matches with Jericho, like Jericho and Tanahashi, Jericho and Young Bucks, maybe, you know, some kind of tag match, perhaps. You know, so many different possibilities and to see where it goes. Okay, and my wrestler of the month, no surprise. Yeah, obviously, if you've been following me on Twitter, I think you already know who it's going to be. Maho Kurone. Of course, it's going to be Maho. I first discovered Maho on YouTube, I think. Someone had uploaded a clip from Tokyo Joshi Pro. And it was Tokyo Joshi Pro's、uh, introduction video to all of these different characters. Up popped this kind of zombie girl image. I was like, wow, that's really kind of unique. Okay, yeah, sure, we've got. Rosemary from TNA, she has this kind of dark, gothic image. But Maho Kurone really takes it to the next level. She seems to be in character 24 7, and sometimes I'm not sure where the character ends and where she begins. Because even on Instagram, like her Instagram posts are very kind of dark and gothic. Her writing style, she uses a mixture of hiragana and katakana. It's like zombie girl. <laughs> it's not Japanese, it's not English, it's, it's zombie, zombie language. 
stage, which is really interesting. As far as her in-ring performance goes, she really goes all out with her moves. When she takes a bump, she really hits the mat hard. She's going to take a hit, she goes all out. If she's giving a hit, she goes all out. So it gives this really vicious style to her wrestling, which is really unique to watch. I honestly think she has one of the best backbreakers as well in maybe in all of Joshi, I think. Finisher as well is that kind of reverse STO. Sometimes she'll put a twist on it, so it's more like that kind of Sister Abigail style, but sometimes it's just a straight back kind of STO. But I really hope that this year, she will start to develop more as a singles character. Hopefully she will get that main event push and she will be pushed into the spotlight. Really think she deserves to be in that main event spot. Yep, so that's everything. Thanks again to everyone who's liked and subscribed to the channel. Thanks to these people for supplying us with the subtitles for each episode. I try my best to make the English subtitles, but I do have help from other people. So thank you to those guys uh, for helping me out with the subtitles. Koji recently had a lot of foreign fans uh, come to the bar. Any any message for Gaiku fans? Nenmatsu, kana. Sakko nenmatsu kara takusan no Gaiku jin no kata ni kite itadakimasu. Eto sakko nenmatsu wa Osaka kara Osaka Kyoto Tokyo Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah yeah yeah. Ne, atte ba konshu kara ne. Ano this week wa Wrestle Kingdom kara Kyoto Osaka. Yeah yeah yeah. Ano takusan no kata ni kite itadakimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Yeah, if you do come to Count 299, it's, it's a great place to kind of meet Japanese fans. It's a great place to meet just other pro wrestling fans. You can talk to Koji about your, your favorite wrestler, your favorite wrestling match, whatever. He does speak English. Don't be afraid to speak English because Koji can speak English. So. <laughs> you can have great conversations about wrestling as well. So that's it for this episode. So please subscribe and share the video and help us kind of promote the channel as much as you can. See, See you next time, time on Count. One, two, two.